You feel good? Good. Yeah, a little tired, but it's all right. How was the trip? It was 20 hours, so it was... Oh, real fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, it was just four hours of driving to Miami, and then about 13 hours of flying, and then some airline issues happened, but yeah. Oh, no, not serious. Just like people being slow to their flights. The airplane had issues. Yeah. No, okay. But you're here. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Brad Grundy. I've been arm wrestling for four and a half years as of today, actually. Uh, I started in Korea. Um, I moved over to America nine months in and trained with Herman. So my coaches have been uh, Jay Wan Shim from Korea, Herman. Uh, and then I've been coaching kind of a team down in Tampa um, with Daniel Price, who got second at the East vs. West tournament, left hand, uh, 242. Um, there's other guys like Noel Nunez, and there's guys like Chan Shaw about an hour, uh, more like two and a half hours away. Okay. Yeah. So you're close to good guys. That exactly. That's yeah. all you need. And because uh, I, I don't think a lot of people expected you to win the qualifier, you won the qualifier. Yeah. You know what? Actually, the qualifier before the qualifier was harder. So the uh, the Florida qualifier, yeah. I had Jerome Loud and Chance Shaw, yeah. but Chance was a little injured. Yeah. Um, still the strongest guy at the event, um, Chance, but he was definitely his elbow was kind of tweaked. Mm -hmm. uh, but that qualifier was probably harder. Mm -hmm. But I kind of got lucky. Did you see the bracket yeah. for the um, the finals one with Nick Stone and Big Rick? Yeah. They kind of knocked each other out. Good. Yeah, and then Ben Kennedy, who's also a new stud, just ran through Big Rick. So I kind of had him. That was all I had, yeah. yeah. But you're here. I'm here, yep. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, I think it's good for people to see that there's a chance to qualify and to get to these events. You, Dustin, last time it was, mm. uh, I think, uh, Sam's won his qualifying. Yeah, if I can do it, anyone can do it, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're too modest. Do fight versus Kyle Hutchinson. Uh, yeah. Kyle is, I think, same time in arm wrestling as you are. I think so, but he's way bigger. Have you seen him? He just left. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like Dude, that guy is massive. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's a really cool guy. There's not going to be any beef between us. Yeah. It's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, it's kind of like Ireland and UK versus, yeah. I don't know, Florida. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of a cool fight. I think it, both of us are kind of, we have our lane. If he accesses, if he accesses his power at all, it's, it's over. Mm. Yeah. He told me it's going to be, he, I can tell you the scenario. Yeah. Yeah. He said, first round, you will try to top roll, uh -huh. not going to work. Okay. Second round, you try to top roll again, okay. not going to work. And I'm going to try to press. Then third one, he said, you might try to go inside, even worse. Yeah, I agree with the even worse. <laughs> I'm not going inside at all. Yeah, you think uh, uh, your key to winning this match would be outside? Outside, um, maybe endurance. I don't know how he's feeling endurance-wise. Uh, then um, definitely some setup stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel he's the favorite in this one? I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, I see videos of him having hard matches with Paul Maiden, yeah. which is very unscary for me. But yeah. uh, then I see videos of him having like just blowing through Camille and Mark Basil, mm. which is scary to me. Yeah. So it's kind of a weird, yeah. Yeah, it's, one thing could be, you know, the guys that you practice with or mm -hmm. are close to. Know you. Know you. Yeah. Right? In and out. So. Yeah. I'm pretty good at knowing people pretty fast, so maybe, I don't know, if there is a spot, I can probably find it, I think. Yeah. yeah. This, this might be your moment. What, it what's might your be. weight now? Uh, 260. 260. Okay. Yeah. So, right there. Yeah. yeah. In this class. Yep. A little too small for super heavyweights? Well, I shouldn't be too, I should be like 220 at most. Yeah. I can water cut 20, 25 pounds too, so, yeah. No need Not yet, but yeah, yeah eventually. Also, because his interview is going to be out, so. He said that uh, he mm. hasn't trained arm wrestling for like six months. No, no table. Probably. Really? Okay. Yeah. Is that it's confidence or what? No, he said that he had some issues. Why don't he have elbow injury? I a, think in May or something. I think Bracky. Okay, Bracky Ellis. Yeah. Even he said like he had two practices before the qualifier here. Yeah. And then nothing. He said he couldn't do. But he said he did a lot of physiotherapy and it cleared up like two okay. weeks ago. But there is no practice there. Just gym. Just gym. I'm the opposite. I've done no gym the last two months because I've been injured. Yeah. It's funny how our approaches are the different to injuries, but uh, I've only done table time. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. This is battle of opposites. It is kind of, yeah. yeah. How many tattoos do you have? 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little cigarette scar. That's it. Closest thing I got. I, he has a torn back. Uh huh. Right. I'm like, did you arm muscle on the foot? He's like, no. Did you bench press? I'm like, no. I'm like, what did you do? He's like, I was drinking. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> we have that in common. We're both big drinkers. So <laughs> after the match, we'll probably hit the bar. Yeah. Um, what's the thing in arm wrestling that uh, made you stay? Um, I've always liked wrestling and combat sports. My ankle is um, super messed up, so it kind of ruined my wrestling career. Um, you were doing wrestling before? I was, yeah, a little, a little bit. I mean, not like super serious, but I couldn't do double legs or any of the normal stuff because I couldn't bend my, bend my feet. Uh, arm wrestling I've been doing forever uh, since I was a kid, and it kind of just, to me, it makes sense. It's like almost like you're rediscovering physics. Everyone has their own physics, right? Like There's no textbook for arm wrestling, really. Like there is, but it's not like, it's very individualized. And I like the fact you can really like figure out your own science behind your body and kind of go from there. You said you started in Korea. Yeah. Right? yeah. Have, like I, I have seen Korean born like in Morals, but there's no big name star there. Whoa. There's one, there's one big name star. He has, I think, 300 and something thousand subscribers. Um, but yeah, Hong Ji Sun, you heard of him? Okay, he's, he's good. Him and um, like Jeff Hale had good matches, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He uh, he's super solid, and there there is way more solid guys over there. There's, they're kind of like super excluded. Mm. Yeah. They might go to AWE actually at some point because they're kind of close to that. I hope me and Ingen talked about having an event over there. I think it's in the works, um, a qualifier. Oh, yeah. But um, there was kind of some controversy because I know the leadership over there is kind of with. Um, I, I think it's Igor or someone like there's different. Oh, IFA. Yeah, I, I don't know how it all works, yeah, okay, okay. but I don't get into it either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care. I think um, it's, it's good to yeah. have like uh, like uh, we have uh, Mehdi that's Iranian, right? Yeah. So that's good exposure to that part. Yep. Because we already know the top top places on the planet, in Arms. So yeah, right? yeah. Right. Georgia, Kazakhstan, kind of America, <laughs> Russia. Yeah. But if we talk. We, we know where the powerhouses of it is. Mm -hmm. The top guy right now at the top is Italian. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, I well, well, there's no reason to say that because like we're gonna figure it out in three days. Yeah, it might be and, Canadian. And he will face Canadian. Yeah. You have hundred dollars. You will not eat for two days if you lose that money. Who you put that money on? So I think stylistically, this match is perfect for Devin. We saw Armies lose wrist against Kardecha, Levon, and a little bit against Dave. Um, I have to think Devin's the favorite here. Yeah. So you don't think there's quality in there? I think there's a lot of quality. I think the hand is just, the wrist is like the one, the worst thing you can have is against Devin is a bad wrist. And Armies is not bad, but it's a little questionable at the highest level. 